With threats seeming to come from all directions these days, many of us are concerned with our personal safety and that of our families. That makes finding a safe place to live pretty high up on the list of things of importance, so this is going to be a series on the safest places to live in each state. First up, Ohio. Number 10, Bellbrook. If you're looking for a middle class community near Dayton, the small city of Bellbrook might be a good fit. The median household income for the residents is almost $30,000 higher than the Ohio median at $87,104, and only 4% of the residents fall below the poverty line. Bellbrook is safer than 91% of U.S. cities. They reported two violent crimes and 32 property crimes on the last FBI crime report, which makes their violent crime rate 93% below the national average. They have a population of 7,317, so the chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 218. In addition to being safe, Bellbrook also hosts an annual Sugar Maple Festival, so there's that. Number 9. North Ridgeville 35,280 people call the Cleveland suburb of North Ridgeville home, but they only have 13 violent crimes and 112 property crimes, so their overall crime rate is 85% below the U.S. average. There is a 1 in 276 chance of becoming a victim, and this community is safer than 92% of U.S. cities. Residents say that the best thing about living in the city is the peace and quiet, but they also mention that they have a really good school system, as well as an annual corn festival. The one complaint that gets repeated is that there aren't many entertainment options or shopping available within the city limits. Number 8. Powell Located just 14 miles from the state capital of Columbus, Powell is one of the more affluent communities in Ohio, thanks in part to the number of government employees living there. For the 14,163 residents in Powell, the median household income is almost three times the Ohio median at $159,368, and only 1.3% of the residents live below the poverty line. In areas with more wealth, you tend to see more expensive houses, and that is true for Powell. Housing costs are 164% higher than the Ohio average, with most of the houses on the market listed for over $300,000. However, with the extra expense comes more safety. Not one violent crime was reported on the last FBI report, and only 78 property crimes were reported. That puts the chance of becoming a victim at 1 in 175, and Powell is safer than 92% of U.S. cities, and crime has decreased by 10% from the previous year. Number 7. Olmsted Falls Olmsted Falls is a quirky little town of 8,582. It's home to a Victorian shopping village called Grand Pacific Junction. There are 30 or so old-timey shops and a train. They even have a wedding chapel there. Olmsted Falls is also close to Cleveland for those who want to live near a major city. This community is also consistently ranked on lists of safest places to live in Ohio, and for good reason. Their total crime rate is 89% below the U.S. average, with 4 violent crimes and 18 property crimes reported. The chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 403, and Olmsted Falls is safer than 92% of U.S. cities. Number 6. Brexville Between Cleveland and Akron lies the small city of Brexville. This community of 13,635 is known for its many parks and recreation activities. One third of the city is comprised of parks, including the 3,000 acre Brexville Reservation, so there are many places to commune with nature in this area. They also have a very low crime rate. There were only two violent crimes and 57 property crimes, so the violent crime rate is 96% below the national average, and the overall crime rate is 81% below the average. Brexville is safer than 92% of U.S. cities, and the chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 231. Number 5. Canfield This small city of approximately 7,500 lies in the eastern part of the state near Youngstown. People have been settling in this area since 1798, when the land was purchased by the Connecticut Land Company, and the people living in this community take their history very seriously. They have historical markers placed throughout the city, so it's possible to take a history walk. Canfield is also known for its annual summer fair, which is the second largest in Ohio after the Ohio State Fair. This is also a place where one doesn't have to worry much about safety. Canfield only had one violent crime and 25 property crimes reported in the previous year, so the violent crime rate is 96% below the national average. The overall crime rate is 84% below the U.S. average. The chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 275, so Canfield is safer than 93% of U.S. cities. Number 4. Springboro the city of Springboro is located in Warren County, an area that is referred to as Ohio's largest playground due to the many entertainment options available around there. Thanks in part to its various amenities, as well as its economy and low crime, Springboro has been ranked as one of CNN Money Magazine's 100 Best Places to Live Twice in 2009 and 2011. Springboro only reported one violent crime, with an estimated population of 19,263, 
so the violent crime rate is 99% below the national average. They also only had 66 property crimes, so their overall crime rate is 85% below the national average. Springboro is safer than 94% of U.S. cities, and the chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 284. Number 3. Avon Lake Avon Lake is a suburb of Cleveland, and as the name implies, this is a lakefront community sitting at the edge of Lake Erie. That makes boating and swimming some of the most popular summer activities in the area. The violent crime rate in Avon Lake is 96% below the national average, with only four violent crimes reported. The FBI report is released in September for the previous year, so the data on file right now is for 2020, and unfortunately, this city of 25,500 did see three homicides last year that made national headlines. A man harmed his family before ultimately turning his weapon on himself, so the next crime report will have those included, but this was an anomaly. This was the first homicide in 14 years for Avon Lake. As far as property crimes go, the city's rate is 89% below the national average, with 53 reported. That puts the chance of becoming a victim at 1 in 434. Avon Lake is safer than 95% of U.S. cities. Number 2. Lexington Ohio is home to the small village of Lexington, as well as Lexington Township and New Lexington. I can only assume that's meant to confuse people who aren't from the area. The Lexington in this video is the village of 4800, located in Richland County. Race car enthusiasts come from all over to this area to visit the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course, which hosts a number of racing series, including IndyCar and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Despite having strangers coming into the community regularly, not a single violent crime was reported in Lexington, and only 12 property crimes were reported, so the overall crime rate is 89% below the U.S. average, making the chance of becoming a victim 1 in 390. Lexington is safer than 95% of U.S. cities. Number 1. Broadview Heights Broadview Heights is located within a 6-minute drive of another entry on this list, Brexville, so it's probably not much of a surprise that this city would also be considered safe. The chance of becoming a victim is only 1 in 908, and that's after crime increased by 6% from the previous year. Only 21 crimes were reported out of a population of 19,936. That puts the overall crime rate at 95% below the national average. Broadview Heights is safer than 96% of U.S. cities. In addition to safety, Broadview Heights is also known for having a good school system. They were ranked as the 12th best in the state of Ohio in 2015, and the Washington Post included the Broadview Heights High School on their list of most challenging high schools that same year. However, those things come at a higher price tag. Real estate in Broadview Heights is 65% higher than the Ohio average. But that's how it is for a lot of the communities with lower crime rates. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield. field.